Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my website, bethroars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, head over to my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash bethroars, where you can get more exclusive content. You can help out an underprivileged artist, and you can also get early access to my podcast, which is Good Job with Beth Roars. And you can also find that on all the podcast places. This one is actually a request from one of my patrons and... It's a classic. So dreamlike. What I find so interesting about him is a super wobbly, fast vibrato. How he just slides off these notes. Everything is so oozy. He's not afraid to make things sound kind of ugly. Sometimes it needs to sound ugly, although so far not really. But well. And he goes around the vowels. I just find him so creative. He is using loads of different tones. So he's got the waiting tone, and then he's got waiting. So going between a really aspirate, breathy tone where he's not got full chord closure and then a kind of crying, like he sounds like a baby crying, but in the best way. He has loads of dynamics. I love this oozy style of singing where everything has this kind of swell. It's like waves in the sea or something. And I love the way that he goes around vowels that kind of echo the dynamics. So he'll be like, out. And his voice is high and low and fantastic mix. So unusual, that little ornament, I guess. Quite jazzy. See, I love this flip between his use of head voice and the believe, allowing it to be breathy. He doesn't want it to be too big yet. I'm sure he's gonna go to like a massive place. So if you kind of start too heavy, then it's you just don't want to be doing that the whole way through a song. Otherwise it gets a bit boring, but he's using lots of different things, different tools, flips into head voice, into lighter places, kind of letting the air come through. Most of the time he's got like a really lovely, even balanced mix. And then staccato things. And how he falls, oh, 
of the note. That's what I'm talking about. It sounds like he's got like a lid on it. He's like, ah, and, it, and breath support because he's got to have so much breath to get all the way up there. So he's got nice relax. You can see how relaxed he is in his body. It's very easy for him. He's taking a nice relaxed in breath and then letting it out slowly. But you get that bit in the middle where you're like, oh, he's not going to make it. And then he does and he gets higher and higher and higher. It's so exciting to listen to. And then he's still head voice here. It's really like jazz scat singing. Like improvised sounds almost. just got such control over that passaggio, over that break area. So most people get to it, you either get to a lid um, where it feels like it's too much, then you flip into your head voice, or you do have a nice like transition and it's really easy, but then you can't get that heaviness that you want on the lower notes and you can't get that flip. So he's got both. He can flip when he wants to and then he can transition nicely when he wants to. That takes like, a lot of work, knowing your voice so, so well. People normally start with one or the other and and then you kind of have to learn to do the other one. emotional sounds, he's like letting you into a piece of himself. What is so interesting about a performer like him is that you are just totally brought into his world, brought into his pain, and it's so difficult for performers to do that. Like, if you think about it, do you want to bring, like, random people into your pain all the time? It's brave singing. It's brave to sing and allow the cracks and the breaks to be there and the emotion to be there, and it's beautiful. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.